Wait a minute, stop, stop. Graffiti started <laughs> off in the grottos, like in those caves in Europe. Yeah, yeah? it started off in the, in Egypt. Yeah, yeah? Th this thing has been carrying on from thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. It's just today that ambassadors can actually feel respect from it, maybe earn a little buck from it. And talk. And, and not be tortured. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24 seven mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the app store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Chest out, Billy's in. New t shirt alert. <laughs> <laughs> You know we do. We'll yeah, we do. We'll support the team. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Killer Keller Podcast live and direct. Central London, central as you need to be. Switching on now. That's right. You know, we've got guests in the house. We don't stop. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight. Everybody's checked out Kellervision app. You know, free download. Apple and Android for your health, street culture and more. But uh, yeah, we're not the only one over here making products work. We have a good, good, solid soldier friend of mine that is just embarking, not embarking, he's embarking, <laughs> on, a, <laughs> on a new venture. And uh, to explain more and tell the story is a uh, Graph OG legacy holder himself, the man like Rees, 1T, DDS, come brother, on. long time no see, here for part two. Here for part two. Because <laughs> the first time he was here was with our kid Spat. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, one of my OG brothers. For you 1T know what I mean? special, wasn't it? Yeah, that was basically me coming back mm. for a little while away, do you know what I mean, mm. family problems and... Mm. Little time out away from Graf, and yeah, mm. that was a, the jump off. To be honest, for those two years, we've we've kicked ass. Mm. We've literally kicked ass. And it really I mean? felt like it at the time because I know we'd we'd had a chat before, and which mm -hmm. which you know happens and doesn't happen. But because of our relationship in passing through music and stuff, yeah, yeah. we'd really kind of yeah. Yeah, it's one of those yeah. ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small world, but circles always bring us back together, you know. Mm. And with what you do and what we do, is that's hand in hand, you know? Mm. It's hand in hand and the jump off the same way. Mm. You've helped us fly through the skies, oh, you know? And like, just, and as I said, I knew you from a kid and mm. the old, the Frutella stuff and <laughs> you <laughs> was like the badass, you know, when we was little, you was coming up at the same time. So as much as you've been an observer, you've still been an integral force, like, oh, in thank this you, game, brother. in this art, you know? Yeah, I do get, I, I, I do get a few. Never whispers. forget Razel, you know, and like his connection <laughs> with like graph and hip hop and, you know, it's like, it goes, yeah. it runs deep out here. It's man. funny, I do get whispers of people going, oh, you know, uh, culture vulture. I was like, this sounds like get Ali G business, here, man. man. Get <laughs> Get the, they just coach. They're the culture vultures because they don't know anything about the culture. That's the thing, you know, and You've how got be... far it, it extends. And by God, like we're talking about a time of us orbiting around the same parties, the same mm -hmm. things, and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's almost like well, mm -hmm. raving it off. Yeah, raving it off. <laughs> <laughs> and, at what, and what point do you say to yourself, you know what, it's time that, you know, I've I've progressed as a person, as an artist or something, mm. and, you know, I've, I've paid my dues. Yeah, paying your dues. I think, for me, I had that whole period. I, I started graffiti maybe 25 years ago. Mm. Yeah, and that was the paying your dues at the beginning. I came up in a hard time where mm. literally we were getting robbed for our paint. In 96, 95, mm. we were getting jacked, sent out there. It was mm. horrible, horrible times. And those were the Jews. Like, mm. From 97, 98, when we ha I could use my fists, mm. that's when I started mm. getting respect. <laughs> you know, I paid my Jews. Now I've got my respect. Mm. And, you know, those days are gone, though, in the sense of the, what graph is today. Those days are like, that was the stepping stones, and that's yeah. the starting path. That's like the John, the Waltons time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That is epic <laughs> old... Today's rules are completely different. You know, you, the mm. respect is from them, but you've got to carry that forth. It's like, oh, you know, I met an old school writer, man. He was nothing like what, what I thought he'd be. He was an absolute cunt. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to come back and say, do you know what? I paid my dues. I was a nasty character back in the day, but you had to be to survive. Mm. Like, yo, in the 90s, some of the characters around in Graf were Tough guys, mm. bro. Do you know what I mean? You could appear weak because it was the end of your career. One side, yeah. one ounce of weakness, and 
you're out the door. So, you know, that helped you build up your character, your self-esteem, your confidence, and, you know, it led us to where we are today. Mm. Generally. You had a very different upbringing from most people as well, didn't yeah, you, brother? Man. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was in the care system, like, in the 90s. I was homeless for years, do you know what I mean? Mm. The system just let us go, you know, the, the social services didn't give a shit about us back then. You were yeah. 16 and they'd leave you on the street, whereas today they... they take you till you're old back then it was like oh as soon as we can get rid of you you're Actually gone go, and yeah. like the people they were sending us out onto in the streets was either crack dealers do you know what i mean yeah. killers yeah luckily i was lucky enough to meet other young people who themselves were looking for a voice and that was our graph journey graph the was beginning it. Of it. and it was we were lucky to have graph like swoop us up oh, under yeah. in its wings and i give so much love and thanks to my og generals i always mention them mm. bond Sheck, dre um zonk mm. idea bosh ouch sub you know, they really form 72 yeah. stacks those guys put their arm around me as a kid akit diet and saved my life in general saved and taught life. me like, listen, this is the way you go, kid. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the, like, the cop, the accent, it's the way you go, kid. You do it like this and like that. And the rest is, you know. Saved your life. Saved my life and gave me like a real career. Like, <laughs> you know, as well as flunking school. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Big shout to DDS, by the way. Yeah, dub stars Got forever. Man. Done here. You know? But I, it was almost like after I had you guys on as one T. All of a sudden, I was like, I was the impression that you left on me, and looking at the burners and the pieces and the way that you were, yeah. I just felt like, yo, it was your. All of a sudden, you 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 did you took it a level. You yeah, took we it raised some... it up a bit. We raised the bar up. We like, shot spat as well, by the way. Pieces, the pieces we've been doing since like that show. We've actually, you know, we've got better. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've got better in myself. I just my, it's like my focus was just on point and. The letter form, I wanted to really play with it. And, you, you really know, mess and, with the letter form, you know, I'm telling you. Know, you yeah. it's still, it's all legal work. I can't really do any illegal stuff because, you know, I'm known. So I can show my face, but I got done for graph back in the day. I was on mm. the news, mate. Trevor McDonald read my, <laughs> my, read my bloody case out on the in front of my family and my church goers and all of that. <laughs> so, you know, they destroyed me. <laughs> what was the response day. to that when yeah, they saw that? Yeah, literally, <laughs> Rian, Rian on TV, man. Boy, Trevor McDonald, finish him. <laughs> you know, so like when you got that, you know, Trevor McDonald's a famous face in the black community. Yeah, yeah. You know, mate, you know, I've done my thing, bro. I've, I've been done by graph squad. So mm. they ruined our lives back in the day. They picked on us. And to be honest, I, like, I was watching one of the old SB um, series where they go after the SB crew. And it's like, the leader of SB was no one who they even mentioned. They got like some toy guy and they're like, yeah, this is the main guy of it. I was like, you lot were dumb. Did you actually do that on purpose? You just didn't go after the top dudes because you knew if we get them, we don't have a job. So we're going to go after the toys, make them seem big, and then we still got something to do in our spare time. So, you know, mm. as I said, those days of graph was just really about ruining those, those young people that they was arresting. Because mm. it definitely had an effect on my... I couldn't really get a job for years. Like, I had to make my own industry. Really? Did it impact you hard? Yeah, bruv. Yeah, mate. It impacted... Because we just... We didn't have a clue anyway. And then you've got a criminal record. You know, I've been done for criminal... Trespass, mm. um, on sidings, ASBO... Train yards, trains, Bogart shops. Do you know what I mean? Mm. After a while, it's like, whoa. I didn't realise when I was doing all that stuff that it's actually just, I can't get into uni. I can't get into here. I can't get into there. You know, it just so Hold on, hold on, this is news. Just for those of you that are even thinking about going down this lifestyle, so you're telling me that university would have been held yeah, up yeah, for it was, Yeah, bro. You've got, you got to tell them you've got a criminal record when you go to uni, mate. Yeah, bro. And know, that really has an impact. Yes. They, they don't want in a lot. Yeah, you're, well, when they're coming to do, like, choose the people for the course, say you're the last 10 people, yeah. they'll go, oh, oh, oh he's bad. Slide him, we'll take him. I know, bro. I, mate, I did go to university afterwards mm. when I was, I was a mature student, but even that then, that was a problem. Really? Right? I had to let him know, listen, the dumb bird. Da, 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 da. Okay. But when you explain to them what the bird yeah, was about. Yeah, as an adult, do you know what I mean? Oops. Yeah, it's graffiti. Okay. Well, they kind of did Yeah, it. like, oh, you went to jail for graffiti. Oh, oh no problem. Really? Oh, yeah, come forward. <laughs> so, oh, could you, work, could you work with young people? Yeah, of course. Right, no problem. So, yeah, you know, as I said, it closed doors mm. throughout my early 20s, but 
later on in life, I think I've had so many doors open through mm. graffiti. I, as much as it ruined my life, like in those early stages, mm. mate, it saved my life all the way to the end. And mm. you know what I mean? It's given me a purpose, a career. Mm. It's made me a light, sometimes an ambassador. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. And I, and as I said, like for the spirits of graffiti, for the fallen soldiers. You know, I feel like they're on my side, they're mm. on my shoulder. I hear them, I feel them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. We live on, like, it doesn't, there is no end. And I feel like I've been blessed. You've got a real pa- I mean? bro. Honestly, th- the times we've bucked, your passion for the culture, it's like mm. you're constantly giving back. Yeah, yeah. You know that it's a bit like my movie beatboxing, you know, it's an organism, it can't be held by anybody singular for too long. It has to keep on moving, That's doesn't right. it? That's right. That's right, that's right. It's a, it's an organic thing. It continues to be, like the next generation are always coming up. The mm. OGs are always getting to a certain level. Do you know what I mean? It's always a coronation of a G or the the bringing in, bringing in of a new generation. Mm. So yeah, graph is it does not stop. Like it's alive, it's alive, and it constantly needs like a voice of reason. Mm. You know, just tell people because a lot of people are confused. Like, oh, what do you do that? Why do they do that? Or why do they? So they need someone who has a bit of a voice to come and say, well, this is why we paint on that. And mm. do you know what I mean? For years, you know, we did this because of A and B. Mm. You know, so you need that voice, and we've become that. We've been given that diplomats, light. man. Like yeah, you young and diplomats, Spat. Yeah. Are you and Spat? I mean, big shout out to DS as well because you know they're, they're changing the the the. the the, the formation of DDS is constantly elevating and moving. But you guys, particularly you and Spat, I, I feel like a, uh, the, the, all your, your spokespersons for a scene. Yeah, I think we're I think we're just with me and Spat. We've taken on the business side of Graph from like pff, 2005. We were making T-shirts, doing workshops, as many workshops as we could. Like, And mm. that, that format mm. has carried on from 06 till now. We've got our own... You know, mm-hmm. own company, One Two Graffiti. We've got a clothing brand, Aerosol Infantry. Hold tight. Yeah, we've got the brand. What's we're going working on here? with other. We're yeah. collaborating with looking other good, graffiti artists from the crew. If you ain't, if you aren't looking, and you're listening. Um, we're currently rocking. Yeah, this is part of garments. that. You know, the logo brands. We've got our first line. There's still small stuff at the beginning. We don't want to rush. We want to take our time with it. We're going to be here for a while, and there's mm-hmm. loads of collections to come. So you know, it's that position. We've been. Given we've been given a um, a seat, so we're gonna sit in it. Mm. It's a throne, so we're gonna sit in. We're gonna rock our crown. There's no problem with that, mm. do you know. But mm. at the same time, we give back. Yeah, we give back. We give back to graffiti because it's it's not as if we've got billionaires from every corner going, "Hey man, hey dude, I'm just gonna give you this." Like, true, you true. know, Banksy. You know, he's a great writer, but mate. You're not exactly coming and paying me off every week, are you? I'm not even saying, sorry, great writer. I mean, he's an artist, do you know mm, what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. But he's not doing anything for our scene in general. Mm. We're the ones who are having to funnel it and pay for it out of our own pocket, mm, you mm. know? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's not easy, but we're not complaining. Contributively, though, you like you say, you're giving back to the scene. You've got some, you got some heavy dons. I mean, we, I know we're talking bespoke here, but I can see the band. I can see it on the mask now. You've got Zonk inside <laughs> yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, Hold yeah. Hold tight, yeah, Z. Yeah, yeah, We're working with the OGs. Like, we're trying to keep it as close to the original 90s graphers. That's my era. I'm a 90s graffer, so I want to represent that era. I want to... Mm give you that sneak peek, some mm. secret stuff that you may not have seen before. A lot of the generation of today weren't here for the permanent ways when DTB had yeah. all of the stuff and yeah. you know that tunnel vision when, yeah. Zom, when Zom was doing them t-shirts back in the... A lot of the writers of today were probably still in secondary school or primary school. Do they you know look at I mean? them eras now as in like the old school, yeah, like, the do you know? Golden, yeah, that is the golden moment for them because it's when their eyes open. Yeah. But now we're just going to draw a bit back just to make it a bit... You know, otherwise, what have you got to hold on to? I was there for graph, like, there's no T-shirt for you. There's no, there's nothing there. America's mm. got Off-White. They've got um, yeah. Mark Echo. Yeah. They've, in fact, they've probably got like a thousand guys who thought, yeah, I'm just going to make it today, mm. you know, and use graffiti and went off and rolled with it. Um, fairy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there you go. Um, cause as well. Yeah, Cause, all of them. Mm. They're making dough. They're killing it. I saw so, this documentary on Cause, um... It was on, you his know, figures. His yeah. car- oh, it's just amazing. mad. But yeah. they're taking the, they're jumping off into the, into the um, abyss, like, and there's so much to be gained from it. We've got to do that. Can so I- these little jump offs, yeah. these little jump offs are just stepping stones to that big skyscraper. Can you get them? Build. Can you get them in particular shops, or are you selling them um, just for you? Chrome and black. Yeah. Um, we've got heavy crates up north. 
<laughs> I've got a shop up in Stockwell, which is a wild style yeah, path. That's there, it, you know, yeah. we've got our little stockies, but it's mainly online. Okay, Do you know yeah, what I mean? You can grab that. us online, check me up on Insta. If you see any of the graphers with their stuff, just go and hit them up and they'll send you straight to us. Like, simple as. You, you know, know um, yeah, which, you know, do that. We'll put the, with the link in the comments below. Um, uh, what was I coming to? Grime uh, was the answer to uh, a, a, an old English problem, which, <laughs> which was, how do you make something which is Americanized yeah. translate to a, a UK British society mm. Mm. that was enough for an industry to run with and re export it to America? Yeah, and they rebrand it. Do you think, yeah, do you think though, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you think there is, an, there is a case in point that, th that the branding and style of a graffiti based company in the UK, do you think there's enough length and time and growth for that to, to occur in the same way? Yeah, no, yes, yes, because fashion is, you know, it's a trendy thing. Everyone wants to be up in it, you know. Mm. Um, writers don't just want to wear, we don't want to sponsor North Face and you know, all of these mm. big brands who have been eating off us for years. So mm. there is room, there is space. It's just how we promote ourselves, how we market ourselves, and whether the public want to engage with us. Do you know True. what I mean? They might be like, Razor the Bastard, do you know what I mean? Them lot, oh, mate, nah, 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 nah I'd rather do, you know. But fair play, if you don't want to support us, you put down and you do something, and if it's good enough, we'll all get involved. Mm. Do you know mm, what I mean? Mm, mm. It's one big family, it's a network. But I definitely believe within the next 10 years, that door to America will be open. Seen with Brexit and, you know, all of you? these, you know, we can't really mess with Europe anymore. So our major friends now is the States. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Is like um, Japan, China. And we'll see if we can blow up a scene up there as well. Hey, yeah. hey, mate. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is graffiti. Yeah. Graffiti started off in the Bronx, my friend. Uh, wait a minute, stop, stop. Graffiti started <laughs> off in the grottos, like in those caves in Europe. Yeah, yeah? it started off in, the, in Egypt. Yeah, yeah? Th this thing has been carrying on from thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. It's just today that ambassadors can actually feel respect from it, maybe earn a little buck from it. And talk. And, and not be tortured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except via the 90s. What is this sorcery? You know what Get him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's no, true no, though, isn't it? Alive here, mate. Because it's because technology also <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Toys burn the live. They got uh, shout out to plug, yeah. <laughs> Toys burn the live all the time. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Um how I mean without taking too much of your intel away, because you know this is some secret shit. We've got a couple here that we're gonna be giving away in a competition the whole time. Um what's the secret in making a good garment and what's the process? Um secret is a good eye. <laughs> You've got to know what looks good. Do you know what I mean? You've you definitely got eye for eye for fashion. I spent thousands on clothes, so that goes to it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And um, the secret behind it, and how do we make it? It's a lot of money, bro. Mm. It's expensive. The back end's crazy, yeah, right? The back, the the, yeah. the machinery is expensive, but. I suppose that's just all tools. The main tool is the brain and the idea and the vision. We've mm. had these visions for years. We know what looks good. We know how graph... If graph looks good on a wall or it looks good on an A3 piece of paper, why can't it look good in the middle of a jumper that's or a the theory, shirt or right? a jacket or on the back? Why not? Do you know what I mean? You just use your brain. And mm. as I said, with Brexit and with all the world as the way the world is via COVID, nobody's allowed to go out on the street and go down yeah. the shops anymore like you used to, yeah? yeah. People are generally want to, they don't want to spend hundreds anymore now. Mm. So why not do an organic thing where support your locals, support the yeah. up and coming companies that are coming up after this, you know, apocalypse. Yeah, that's financial right. Financial apocalypse and put a little back, something back in. Throwed him out. He recently, uh, particularly over Christmas as well, I got really into supporting independent artists and yeah. independent brands. Yeah, yeah. Really independent did. businesses, that's what we've been doing. We've just been bringing in lo loads of like, um, like-minded, mm. um, small companies, small artists, individuals up north, in the south, mm. do you know what I mean? Who are basically working from home or working from their small offices producing artwork. Mm. So we're bringing them that's in. I've got my great. guys for my labels, do you know what I mean? Mm. I've got my guys for the vinyl and for the t-shirts we go to and we're all in-house. And I have to say at this point, the brand, the, I mean the texture, the feel, this is no joke. Yeah, that's, to be honest, that's Proper. like, that's the most simplest one of our, 
of our stock. We've got, we can do full colour. So we've spent thousands on this machinery. Wow. So we can produce. So you've got the machinery. Yes, yeah, we've got you've the machinery. Got the yeah. secret, you've got the secret ingredients. Yeah, we've got the secret. We've got the ingredients that most big companies are using, like your North Face, your Off-Whites. We've got all of that. It's just, as I said, we're taking our time because we don't want to rush and end up sinking before mm. we even took our first stroke. Is that your you biggest know? fear, going too fast? Going too fast and like just burning up. Burning up, really. It's weird because I because I had um, Phil Leeds from Billionaires Boys Club. He would, he was on the intro of Billionaires Boys Club when they came on in the scene, and he was saying, you know, we had the opposite end problem. Yeah. We were going bespoke, and they were just they couldn't keep up with the orders. Couldn't keep up, with you know? That's what I'm worried about. That we'll you get bankrupt. We'll put shit. out loads of stuff, and everyone will be like, yeah, boom. <laughs> I want that, 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 and then we're like, well, it's only three of us in the office. Like, it's only three of us in the studio. Man, you're giving us about like fifty thousand orders a month. Too yeah, much, go bro. ahead, guys. But yeah, yeah. you know, I don't know if we'd be able to go yeah. with it. So we're just taking our time. I want the people to see an organic thing grow before their eyes. And you was here, you helped fund it. So when if we do ever get anywhere, those people will be coming with us. Like yeah. we'll take those who who put in in the beginning, you'll get some at the end. Mm -hmm. You know, which is the way it is. The same way that I was given the luck to get this and start this off if anyone knows me personally they know what i've been through for the past couple of years to come from the dark mm. to the light do you mm. know what i mean my brother passed away a couple of years ago my daughter was Rest born in, in cerebral peace. palsy wow. do mm. you know what i mean we've had so many challenges but i still put back into mm. graph i just used it as a chat i used it as a outlet to to just get rid of some of that tension and you mm. know some of the strain and stresses that have been brought, brought on by life and telling you since then it's like Bam, 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 bam. All of these things have fallen into place. The business, you know, the investment that went into the business, mm. the business itself, the group working with the business, some of the people who fell off and no longer will be part of it, yeah. what we're doing, but that's life. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you've got to chuck the wheat and the chaff and, you know, it's, it's got to be separated before yeah. you even jump into the real venture, you know? Mm. And Graf's taught me that, man. I've I've been done over in Graf loads of times. Shout out to those men who robbed me and beat me up and, you know, back in the day when you could, you can't now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, you know, I've done, I've had my fair share of bad stuff happen to me. So it's like, you know, this is that time, bruv. It's, you know, I've reaped. Mm. So the seeds have been sown and it's just the time of the reaping, you know? I think it's, I, I feel like it's important, whether it's a podcast or a, any platform or a product or anything, Particularly with like subcultures and street cultures such as these, is it's important for people to at least um, try monetizing what they do, mm. not because of not not be to fall in line or anything, like, but just to get a gauge of experience yeah. on how hard it is for you to do what you're doing. Because when you're really trying to push something, it's really easy to put a comment on the thing or say something derogatory or negative. Yeah. It's, it, but it blows your mind state and your, your progress. And yeah. to really get an understanding of how hard it is, you've really got to have experienced it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've had that. I've had people be negative, you know, just throw their 10 pence in and without any experience, like with a lack of experience in what they're saying, you know. It's like you really want... You support us. You support graffiti, right? You're happy for us to go out and get nicked to lose our life, to die. Mm. You're happy to see an RIP, but when it comes to putting some money back in a few writers' pockets, who generally do deserve that, mm. you put you turn your nose up at mm. it. You want a different, you want a freebie. You know, you don't understand the cost that is taken with time with our lives. Mm. Let alone the before, legacy, let, factor. The legacy yeah. factor. Like let alone the money and the time and the effort, and we have families. And do you know what I mean? Like it costs and it takes time, and people lose out. So. If you're going to come along and be like, oh, yeah, you lots of mugs, mm. mate. Mate, you just don't have a clue. I don't think you should be involved with graph. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If you're not going to support the pillars of graph. Yeah, the times know? are changing and people are dying too quickly nowadays. Yeah, bro. I don't know how long I'm going to be here, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? I'm not counting on being here to the very end, but while I'm here... I'm going to enjoy this time and make the most of it mm. and leave a big mark behind and another door open for another generation. Bro, so they you've can always come been the most positive dude. Tell me some happy stories. Tell me some good <laughs> tell me the good things that, that go into making this thing. What's the best results um, that you're feeling? What's the what's the I think it's moments? just the feedback. It's the feedback, the positive feedback that I'm just getting from my people who know me and you know follow me or support me, random OGs like they're so proud of me and yeah, you know, it mm -hmm. is like a breath of fresh air. It's like a, just a wave, like, go on, Reese. you're doing the right thing. Mm. And to hear that, 
it, it, as I said, it makes me feel the man that I know mm. I, I am. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it shows that the levels have been have been hit. Man's no longer a kid in the game. Yeah. You know? And a lot of people don't really know who I am because, as I said, I went to jail for years for Graf. Like, at the time when Graf was getting smashed, Camden Road got battered. Do you know what I mean? The yeah. Yards were getting hit, knees and all of them lot went down. I went down, Zelda went down. <coughs> Not a COVID cough, by the way. Hold tight, hold tight. <laughs> yeah, smoker's cough. Hey, trust you me, know, trust me, we do the COVID test every single week. We all went down, week. we all went down back in the day. So, do you know what I mean? This is like, you know, it really is, it's the time to reap and it's that reward now. You know, you've done the time, you've put in, and look, people may not remember what you did, but like Zom said to me recently, like, don't worry about it, Reese. I'm like, bro, I just want to go out there and hit some trains and that. He's like, Reese. <laughs> What are you worrying for? You've done all that, bruv. Like, yeah. like You've what? Done because all no that. one documented it for you today. Like, that doesn't mean you didn't do it. Doesn't mean in our mind you're not a valid force. So, you know, sometimes you don't get the respect and love by the community in general, but where it matters and where it counts, mm -hmm. it's like that. Bro. It's, you know, it's boosting through the sky, you know? Do you think like, that's there has to be a change of attitude as time goes on? For the, like you say, for the OGs and stuff, you know, it's yeah. like, does it really matter about the that details? Look at what the contribution is now. Mm. It's coming to this now, you know yeah. what I mean? This is what's happening. Yeah, I, you Mad, know what? It? Those details mean a lot, you know. I, I, I'm from around the corner from here. This is close to where I grew up. Like, a lot of my writer friends, OGs, yeah, they're from down the road and, mm. you know, they're not getting that respect or, you know, the adulation and, like, the recognition. But they put in the time. Putting the ground. They yeah. put the groundwork in, like, yeah. without without a few of them, you doubt there'd be a Rees today. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Without a few of them, I doubt there would have been, like, a a, um, a phase or a, or a, a pins or a zonk. Or, mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you have to give those characters, like, what I'm doing now, they'll hear this and be like, nice one, Rees. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you know you are. The old TK crew, WMB, LGL. You don't know the crew. Do you know what I mean? I haven't forgotten my team, but as life progresses, you can't keep going back to A. You've got to continue to C, to D. To, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've got to keep going. And when we do get to the end and when the circle is complete, you know, when I know I, my spiritual run and it's time to go back round, there ain't going to be a bad word. Mm -hmm. And like we're all going to convalesce again. And, you know... Hmm. Stars will be our next canvas, you know? Because I'm, I'm of a spiritual vibe, man. Come on, bro. So many people passed away in COVID. Big shout-outs to anyone who's lost family, hmm. friends Hell during yeah. this whole apocalyptic Mad trial. Times. Yeah? Mad times. Mad times. Love is with you. The support from the team will always be with you. Do you know what I mean? There you and go. Yep. We just hope that 2021 sees the end of this and, you know, people can get back to doing what we want to do. When was the last time we had a peace jam? Come on. Hey, listen, I'll tell that you. That hurts. Yeah, I know. That hurts. Right? Long it hurts, time. Bro. We've not I've, been able to paint. Let's open know? this up. Let's take a quick look at what we've got going on here. Because we're going to give this, uh, if you're listening and not watching, uh, jump on and check this out on the uh, on television channel. So we've got the mask, which has been donned by the Reese man. Zonk. Who else you got on the uh, brands coming up? Anybody uh, else? We've got Koza coming up. We've got, we've got a little work with Sham 59. So Woo! you're going to get some of those classic drop the bomb oh, hoodies and tees all coming out. All in due time. All in due time. Proper. There you go. The one I'm Something wearing from a dear friend, close writer, popular writer, Pref. He's going to jump in. Yes, Pref. Come hoping on. Hoping to get Stickman involved in the near future. Woo! So, yeah. Jesus, just keep an eye out if you want those collector goodies because I guarantee three oh. years from now to four years, these things are going to be worth dough. The VIP treatment. They're going to be right. worth dough. So this here, what I've got here in uh, on the table, um, again, if you're not you're not watching, you're listening, get involved. We're going to yeah, run a we've competition. Yeah, we've got the Zonk T mask. I'll tell you what, we'll run a competition on the Kellervision app. I'll get the details over to you guys in due course and we'll make that happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, you, you are, you're going across the spectrum. What you've just said there in terms of names, um, and not only are institutions in the graph world over here, but also international. And they, bro, you're hitting all the markers. This is... Yeah, well, we're lucky to be like, well, we was international. We're not across Europe anymore. Thanks, Boris. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, um, you know, we've got Gs across the world, bruv, who are down for the cause. Mm -hmm. Down for the cause. The States especially. I've got some OGs out there, OG crews, who are just waiting for us to, like, get our ass over there and put mm -hmm. some work in. You know, mm, like yeah. it's literally you can't just slide across the scene. You've literally got to dig yourself into it, put your arms out, use the support network and yeah. build it. And yeah, then, you yeah, don't yeah. slide in and slide out. Because you'll be out quicker than you <laughs> went yeah, in. Yeah, because you you'll do. be out like, what? You, you, you culture rat. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not none of that. We're not rats out here. We're tunnel rats, yeah, mm-hmm. but we're not culture watchers, you know. So yeah, we've got a lot of got a lot of people throughout the world who are willing to back it. We've got writers who are out outside, just outside of England, who are mm. from the from the UK originally who are willing to back us and give us that support. So yeah, this is as I said, 2021, going off into the wild future. It's gonna be something great and you, know? you get the process you get it takes time it takes time yeah, to build up time. a brand it takes time like i'm not trying to do mm. this overnight man mm. I, we've been doing this for the past me and spat in general have been doing this for the past 12 years as in clothing as in doing screen mm. printing vinyl stuff for other people we've just been doing it for everyone else and yeah. no one even really knows what we do you know like we're really silent back back hey, oh but yeah, yeah like, oh they're in the back corner of that back street that's their shop that little black dingy door no like now's the time for people to be like yeah well done lads yeah. like, come to us get if you need the stuff fucking done. flowers yeah you know what i mean come and, and come and get your get your herb shamas like, mm-hmm. we got the best stuff <laughs> <You know laughs> yeah I mean? we got the real pro over you here know? baby we got the real herbs mate mm-hmm. like, we got the real garments you know and as i said the next couple of years we're hoping that this goes from a small thing to a major thing within the scene, you know, with the help of the followers, graffiti fans, graffiti yeah. followers, observers, those who are participating. Mm. We're hoping that this just becomes a jump off. And as I said, I'm working with artists. So if an artist comes and says, look, Reeves, like, you want to get something done on the label? Like, yeah. mate, it's a 50-50 split. You get your, we go halves on the on the clothing, we yeah. go to the profit. Yeah, yeah, I make bro. my money back from my tees. Yeah. You guys make a nice wedge. Happy days. You know, happy days, yeah. mate. Do you know what I mean? We're not trying to sell it all for an arm and a leg. We're not on that bar made money yet. Do you no. know what uh. I mean? <laughs> 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 no, we're not gonna we're not gonna be on bar made either. But what we're saying you know what here, mean? what we're saying here, and it's really important to recognise this is like we're, we're all in this position whereby, as independent people, the simple simple things that you guys can do are are the gold they're the, they're the gold dust in what makes us clothing brands other people that are doing something worthy to s- in niche scenes work it makes yeah. It, it, yeah. every little element that little contributes. bit of support it's, it really means yeah. a difference like the first week we opened the site we had like 800% plus followers likes but that fizzles out and comes and goes you know what I mean it's it's just we need that support yeah. do you know what I mean we need people to be like oh yeah what are they doing what push, 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 yeah. push, like, 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 until the point is where we're now in a position where we can fire continuously, yeah. you know? And as I said, we're not just, you know, we're not just trying to make clothing. We mm. want to do jams. We want to do galleries. We want to promote artwork, sell yeah. artwork. Yeah. Like, you know, Sotheby's, uh, Christie's, they all rinse Banksy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, yeah. he's going in there. He's having a laugh. He's just coming out of 1.4. You know, I'll sell that for 2.8. You know, I'll have that and that. Hey, mate. Hey, what about us not? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I mean, the art world is is fucking you know? mad. I mean, that you know, you you you. I know about fine art. <laughs> mad. You put something, yeah. you give, you sell something to someone for three hundred quid. Ten years down the line, when it's yeah. not yours, it's half a mil. You know, we'll just go into the Tate Gallery, clap a couple hot knees, mate. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you know. uh, hold tight though. So, so look, jump on the app, free app, killer. Keller Keller Vision, get on that. But also, what's the what's the Instagram? What's the? So it's aerosolinfantry.com. That's what, and that's. Yeah. But what's the Instagram? And the well? Instagram's Aerosol Infantry. There just, you go. just just give just us a easy. like, a share. If you like anything on the shop, grab it because there's only the limited edition run of Zonk's going to be. I think no it's games. 100 on each. Woo! Soon as they're gone, they're gone. The Cosa stuff will be out. I think in about a week or two. So look, this is hotcakes. This is you know, this yeah, is the pull grab up. it while it's there because we're not gonna make those again. Mm. We're gonna move on. As I said, this is just a stepping stone. We're trying to bring yeah. other artists to light while we at the same time are trying to build up our own That's little name shit. and you know, you know, you wash my scrub my back, I scrub yours. Get involved, people, right? make this happen. Make it happen. You know, and eventually, you know, we'll get a book out. We're going to get a book for the crew. TDO1T, one time, one timers. We mm-hmm. want to do something where, you know, we've, you know, Crack and Shine was a bit of a small edit for us. If we look, you guys know the book Crack and Shine, we was in that, but we've not done anything like, you know, like a big magazine, like a, just some, a publication where yeah. people can understand who are these one T lot? Like, well, we've been about for a bit, you yeah. know, it's me, Spat couple of others, that's our crew. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. just the young hard nuts all come together, but we can paint, <laughs> you know? So yeah, right it's about it, time we started like putting it all together. We, we've got our GoPros, you mm. know, we're going around, but as I said, COVID completely put, it put the, took the sail out of my wings and do you know what I mean? I broke my hand Christmas and it's just, yeah, Whoa. just repairing now. So 
maybe this weekend I might do a piece. Bro, you know what I mean? every action is a reaction. We we just have to react to this situation. And yeah. this is, this, this whole yeah, clothing yeah. thing is like a perfect This you are, mate. Yeah, man. It's Mad. all happened at the right time. It all happened. I'm sorry. I, I mean... <laughs> I sound like one of the um, uh, Decepticons It all happened at the right time <laughs> like, huh? You know, a... I know I'm an evil villain You know, big shouts out R.I.P. M.F. Doom yeah, I hope you know, Doom. We're all Rest super villains peace. out here yeah. But, it, you know, some people use things like this As like the catapult The catalyst yeah. that sends yeah. you forward yeah. If we couldn't Facts. get it together While the whole time we were in our houses When would we ever get it together? That's right. you know? You've got a decision You've got a choice to make You've just got to figure it out. Mm. Once you figure it out, whatever it is you want to do, create, be the best you can be. Be the best you can be. And don't. And one thing, you know, one thing I always, don't let people put you down. No. Nah. Because as a kid, that's what I ever used to get was put downs. Oh, you're never going to do that. Oh, that's a bit too hard for you. Oh. Until I said, you know what, mate? F you. Yeah. I'm doing it. That was how I got my degree at uni. Oh, you'll never get, mate, you'll never get into uni. Yeah. Yeah, but I got yeah. a distinction. I got like a top thing when I went in there, and I was I hardly knew English. Do you know what I mean? I'm like a cockney crook. It. Like my English is crap. And you I, did lived, it. You I, did I did it, mate. Yeah. You know, so it's that's it. Your if your vision and your courage and your power strong, mate. It doesn't matter what someone says to you to, to deflect that. You're gonna go forward. Mm. You're gonna crack it like pff, the geyser. Pff, gonna go up in the air. You know that <laughs> yeah, will be yeah. your success. Like. Pff, so you have to go for it. You're, otherwise, you're never going to get that champagne moment. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what I mean? We're all yep. going to lift the cup in our lifetime. We're all going to be like Lewis Hamilton spraying our thing. Mm. Just in your field. Yeah, just yeah. in your time. There you go. There you yeah, go. Just in your lane. Exactly. You know? But get it. Yeah, get it. You know? Get it while it's good. Like, I've spent... I, get, I, I sacrificed 25 years of my life to the grit of graffiti. And I'm going to give the next 10 to 15 to make that progressive jump. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so all of it was for a reason. It was all for a reason. Like, I don't feel so bad now when you know spitting in my headmaster's face. Like, I'm, like, I'm leaving school. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I still got a degree though, mate. <laughs> so who's winning now? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, my brother. It's always on, a fucking G. pleasure. Come on, bro. Every time. Every Honestly. Time, every best time, of luck. Bro. We'll get this competition going. Nice one, mate. And make sure you get in there because you're lucky to have that one. <laughs> yeah. Get involved. Don't be strangers, yeah. all right? Yeah, Big be, shout out to Reese DDS, 1T, nice TDO, one, old type. Love, G. Um, Thank you. And what more do you need for a beautiful... St- well, I guess it's a start to your weekend. It's coming on strong, isn't it? Just make sure you share. Sharing is caring and all that business. Sharing Can't is caring. Out like in was out of fashion. Old type Reese. Stay lucky, people. Peace. <laughs>